Hey, welcome back to No Hype Bear Review. So today I'm going to do uh, Mocha Wednesday, which I had before, not this year. So this is two, uh, 2017. Um, but I've, I had it almost a year ago, I think. Yeah, almost a year ago. And it was so stupid. My friends and I were going to a local beer fest. So we pre-gamed, which is unnecessary. And we pre-gamed on ridiculous stuff like this. So needless to say, we got uh, very messed up that day. Um, I almost did uh, Bourbon County. Uh, so that's why I had the Bourbon County glass. And then I just had a crazy week at work. And uh, it's Friday. I'm recording this on a Friday. I just kind of fell. Hey, Bruno, my dog. Let's freak out a little bit. Hey, buddy. Um, so I was going to do uh, Bourbon County, that uh, guy who watches uh, Sub uh He sent me. Uh, we did a trade. But anyway, I decided to up it because it was just, yeah, kind of a crazy week. And thought, you know, I love this beer when we shared it. And... Um, That'd be cool to do it in a uh, proper beer review. The Bourbon County, I almost still did it because of the size. I still, I wish that was in 12 ounce bottles still, which is a different review, I suppose. Like this is 19.9% ABV, so 20%. Uh, I don't know if that's. I'm sure it's 20%. I don't know why they said 19.9. Maybe a law you know, beer couldn't be over 20% or something. And the size of them, it's like drinking eight beers. I'm not really about that. Like, I'm not trying to get crazy or anything. So some I'm going to have to cork and, and hope tomorrow it's still, you know, good and all that, which it will be. I've done that a lot. Oh, buddy. Um, he's licking my calf. I must, <laughs> I must have sweat earlier or something. Uh, hey, God, it's okay. And um, so if you don't know what Mocha Wednesday is, and that's enough about my personal life and everything, uh, it's Black Tuesday with uh, cocoa nibs and coffee added. Um, I like Black Tuesday with age on it because of how crazy high the ABV is. I like to let it mellow a little bit. Well, I can already smell it. And um, hey, bud. No, he's over here. I'm not crazy. Um, and uh, But this with the coffee, I want it to be fairly fresh. So it is several months old. I got it in a trade. I think I had some heady that I traded for it. And uh, let's get right into it. I do find coffee fades a decent amount, so yeah, I didn't want to sit on this for too long. Um, wow. Yeah, that aroma already is crazy. You can see the bubbles uh, are going away fast. Um, fairly large bubbles. Uh, decent carbonation. Uh, definitely hard to see through. Let's see. Yeah, I mean, it, it's pretty much black. It doesn't even have, like, the cola kind of stuff on the outside. Um, let's get to aroma. Definitely getting the booze, uh, the barrel. Big dark chocolate vanilla. Actually, milk chocolate as well, which is interesting because you do get dark chocolate specifically. There's some real sweetness there. The wood itself. Strong berry elements. <laughs> Man, I think I've gotten a buzz just from smelling it. All right, let's get into the taste. Cheers. Wow. So it's phenomenal. Um, it's so interesting. You can tell that it's a high ABV. But not, but not because like it burns too much. Like it's not like it burns too crazy. Wow. So let me explain that more. So like the fullness, the richness, uh, how huge the flavors are. You know that it's got to be up there to get like that much flavor into a beer. But the fact that it's twenty percent alcohol. And you don't get specific alcohol taste. Like I just did caviar from Finback. That was 10%. Triple IPA. Different style. And after I stopped doing the review and kept drinking it, as it warmed up, I could really start tasting the alcohol. But that was in a proper fridge setting. And I drank it pretty fresh. This was just in my cellar. No refrigeration. So it's pretty darn warm. And the fact that I'm not getting specifically alcohol is incredible for such a high ABV beer. So what am I getting? The chocolates there, the coffees, there, like those those cocoa nibs bring out that dark chocolate that I love so much. Uh, the barrel, huge there. 
I have such a warmth going here, but not quite burn, but definitely big warmth. I think some people, especially if they don't drink a lot of like bourbon aged stouts, uh, higher ABV things like that, will think it might be burning. But maybe I think because I'm used to it to a degree, it's just coming across as a as a big warmth. Um, you do get the wood and the vanilla there quite a bit. Don't get any coconut. I know some people will. Uh, oh, the berry I got in the aroma. Let's see if I get the taste. Yeah, some of those dark berries. Yeah. Which are very pleasant. Yeah, this I'm definitely going to sip on <laughs> for a while tonight and enjoy. And I'm only up to here or down to here. So I'll, maybe I'll pour a little bit more in here, then go cap it right now, put in the refrigerator for tomorrow. Um, I don't know if I've ever had a fresh Black Tuesday, and I think about it. Um, I think the freshest maybe was within a year. So uh, I can't really compare too much because this is relatively fresh. Um, but the, the intensity of the dark chocolate from the cocoa nibs, and I do think the coffee with the cocoa nibs and the roastiness of the stout in general, some of the vanilla... I think it kind of all goes towards a chocolate flavor, even though it has that coffee specific in it. Um, I think for coffee to really shine, you can't have those other flavors competing too much. But this, this is so good. Um, and I wish I could get more bottles easily because I would probably save some because I think that coffee, even if it fades a little bit, all the other flavors are going to just be amazing in it. Um, thanks for watching. I always appreciate it. Um, if you like this style, I should have said this, but maybe it's probably obvious. Seek it out. Uh, but anyway, thanks for watching. I do always appreciate it. And uh, as always, like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, imbibe 20% ABV beer. Cheers. <laughs>